What's going on guys? Well, just games here. You know, it's pretty early in the morning. My voice is a little not not all together yet. Now I was kind of talking like a fake like this voice, but I'm, I'm gonna talk like maybe more more genuine right now because this is gonna be a little, a little genuine of a video. Manos the Hands of Fate is my favorite movie of all time. That being said, it is the worst movie of all time. But gee whiz, it is something. We're gonna tell a story of how how this game came to be in my life, or how this, is, you know, goes good normal because I'm a baby. Mm. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna read the cutscene because that's stupid. But yeah, that's a that's a scene from the classic movie. And, uh, yeah, so the story goes, this one time in, like, middle school, like, sixth grade, maybe. I'm, I'm really bored, it's like, oh, I forgot the controls. It's around, like, Christmas break time, just like right now. I'm pretty bored with my life, and I just decide, I'm like, what's the worst movie ever made? And I look it up, I look up what the worst movie ever made is, I find Menos the Hands of Fate. And I found out it's on Amazon Prime. I was like, okay, we're gonna watch this, because I have I have an Amazon Prime. I'm I'm not poor. I'm not a poor person. Amazon Prime is pretty cool, you know. I was like, okay, we're gonna watch Menos the Hands of Fate. And I watched it. That was a that was a decision that changed my life forever. Oh jeez. For that changed my life forever from that moment. Because it was so unbelievably terrible that I would continue afterwards. I still can convince people to watch it just <laughs> to see why they're like, what is your problem? Like afterwards. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Um <clears throat> so, so it's a horror film from this from the 60s but not a budget not a oh it's Torgo and you know Torgo's Torgo's pretty high point in the movie he's a guy with big knees honestly I can't do the film justice without having you just watch the whole thing yourself I'm gonna be talking about this like assuming you have so it's a it's a full things on YouTube because it was never copyrighted so it's like no big deal. It's easy enough. So now, now we're having this boss fight. That that didn't happen in the movie. But yeah, um, after that, it's seventh grade. I hold a party at my house. In the party, a small group of friends comes over, like five people or so. Um. Within those five group of people, I put on Menos, the Hands of Fate. Which, I mean, it had been like a full half a year since I had last watched it or something. But I watched it like twice when I first watched it, because I, I just couldn't believe the... Wh what did I just watch? It had a lot of that. I, got, I didn't fully believe what I was seeing. They say seeing is believing, but the people who say that I haven't seen this... When I saw it, I certainly, oh jeez, I certainly couldn't believe it was a real movie. I'm kind of rambling right now, I'm sorry, I'm not good at commentary and it's early in the morning, or in general, I'm just pretty low on commentary life. Just, not even only with man, it's just in, in life, I'm, commentary is not my strong suit, kind of more improv and stupid crap, like Romeo and Juliet. But anyway, it's seventh grade. We watched the movie. Everyone is like, what was that? It was only like an hour long movie, and it felt like an eternity of watching. I'm watching that movie. And it does, it feels like so long. Well, the first time, now it feels like a 50 seconds because it's so enjoyable. Because I, cause I love that movie, you know? It holds a special place in my heart because it's impacted my life like this. And I. I come along, uh, everyone remembers that movie, kind of quotes the dumb crap, but it just, just like an inside joke. In 8th grade, I 
convince my teacher to watch the movie. Because she's like, guys, we did a thing. Let's have a movie day. And then this one guy in the class is like, can we watch Manos the Hands of Fate? And the teacher's like, no. And she looks it up and she's like, it's a horror movie. Why would you suggest that? And he was like, oh, it's not a horror movie. It's a horrible movie. <laughs> I get it. But yeah, uh, she, she's like, I was bored, so I watched it, and I can safely say that was the worst movie I've ever watched. And so it became like an entire class inside joke, like, everybody in the class knew Manos the Hands of, oh jeez, knew Manos the Hands of Fate. And, and the movie is undeniably awful, just, just bad, just really, really bad. Like, indescribably bad. I mean, I'm getting, like, genuine here. And I don't get genuine a lot, but... Holy, that movie is... Unholy. And, you know, that painting is a pretty big plot in the movie for whatever reason. I think it's a pretty nice painting, actually. Boss gave me trouble the first time I played this game because I was playing on mobile because I was a poor boy. Even though I had Amazon Prime. So I just, I kind of contradicted my statement earlier, but don't, never mind all that. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. But yeah, whole class, watch the movie. Became an inside joke. This one time, me and my friend came to school dressed as Torgo and the master. That's the master right there. We came to school dressed as him because the teacher's like, I'll give you five dollars if you come to school dressed as the master. And then I just kind of showed it all because I wanted to be included. You know what I'm saying? And then I showed up. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a fun level. Not. Ooh, got him. Mm. I, I came up dressed as Torgo. I might be able to find a picture and show you. If not, Sorry about that. Oh, there's something back there. Um, let's see. Oh, I shrewded that one. Oh, hey, that's convenient. Hey. We got these annoying eyeball guys and they're really they're, oh ooh, ooh. angry goblins everyone knows my weakness is angry goblins see the first thing I did on this channel is a playthrough of this game I'm not even lying that was the first thing I did on this channel but it was a really unprofessional I mean I'm not saying my videos are professional or anything because they're really not because I don't know what I'm doing a hundred thousand percent of the time <laughs> Oh, that was professional, though. You have to admit, I knew what I was doing there. Don't ever say I was good at nothing. Hey, hey, look at this. Quality. Or lack thereof. The, the game has this grainy effect for a reason. That's not just, like, a terrible capture. But, um, this game... You know, it impacted me, because I was able to band together and have a whole bunch of people watch, like, the worst movie ever made. Just because I got bored one day in the sixth grade. And even to this day, people are, like, making jokes about it. And other people are like, what are you talking about? And they're like, oh, it's a middle school joke, you won't understand it. And they're like, no, 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 okay. And they, I don't know why I said okay there. That didn't really make sense in the context of that. But nonetheless, no, no! I'm gonna shoot myself. One second. No, let me die. Thank you. I didn't really. I don't know what guy I came from. <laughs> hey! I remember that from last time I played. That if you just kill yourself, things get easier. Don't, don't do that. Actually, that's a, it's a pretty big lie don't don't fall into that mindset please I 
I think we're gonna, I think there's two endings in this game. Okay, we just did a good... Oh, jeez, come on. Come on, Giant Claw. 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 Come on, come on. Come on, walk your feet. Walk your feet. Happy feet. Walk your feet. Walk your Fongo. Hongo. Come on, come on. Tongo, Pongo. Yeah, boy. I kind of started saying words that I'm not, not exceptionally proud of, but I said them nonetheless, and I'm sorry. Oh, yep, Torgo's, Torgo's fallen in love. He's, he's a really tragic character, you know? He, he's a hopeless romantic in a world of, uh, cultists that he accidentally showed up in. It's quite, quite poignant, actually. Uh, but I was able to unify a group of people over a random movie made in the 60s by a fertilizer salesman. And I low-key, like, the more I watch, the more I watch the movie, the more I, the more I care for it. It's like a feast for crows. On your 117th reread, you notice something you didn't notice the first 116 times. Is that, is that the copy pasta goes? I don't remember. I can't quite remember at this point in time. I noticed that this book was really depressing. I'm sorry, I just kind of ruined your ears. That was not nice. This stage really gives me the honkle donkles. If, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it makes me mad. So that means just butterflies and the jumpy breaks like the. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm getting too mad at this, guys. I've told my story, though, about how this game unified a group of people by the sole ability of just being bad. That's all I had to do to bring us all together and say the master would not approve. Like, so many people were like, I just watched that movie. What is your problem? Why did you make me watch that movie? And I was like, that's all I ever wanted to hear. Am I a bad person? Maybe. That is beside the point right now. Am I am I an awful person? Possibly. But ah! Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Manos doesn't care if you're an awful person. Manos just cares. Well, I mean. I guess it'd be pronounced manos, because that's how you say hands in Spanish, which is not the title of movies based on. But I, I've been calling it manos, like mayonnaise, for so long that it's like, it's not okay. Well, I'm about to die, but it's okay, because this video is about to end. I'm just gonna cut it here, because I keep dying. Unless I can magically make it this attempt, because that's like the let's play. No, I'm not gonna call myself a let's play, because that's like 2011. Yeah, the, the, the let's play curse is that, I don't know, once you once you stop wanting to do good, you'll start doing great. Like, like look at me right now. I'm the living example of it. I wanted to die there, but I just can't. Shoot gun. Oh, yes. I don't think there was a shotgun in this movie. Or a pistol, for that matter. This is a the booze drinking couple. What? No, jeez! I really screwed the pooch on that one. Oh, well, that that ends that. When you beat the game, there's kind of a Torgo mode. You play as you play as our boy Torgo. Maybe we'll get to that sometime. If not, I will see you all another day. Remember. 
to watch Man of Science Fate. I have the soundtrack on vinyl because it's actually pretty pretty good. I got I got the game on Steam, obviously, as you're kind of you kind of been watching it for the last what 10, 20 minutes. I don't know how long that went. Kind of getting the mood and talking about such a beautiful game as Man of Science Fate. You know. The HD remake is out there on Blu-ray. The the puppet version. Lots of great stuff. But yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm gonna f I'm gonna finish up Lenox Sister Location one of these days. I mean it. I truly am. We finished the game like in October, and I'm gonna finish uploading it soon. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Peace out. How do I stop recording? How do I? Stop?